Alright there YouTubers and fellow airsofters, basically what we're going to be going over here today is different types of magazines that WE has put out. Uh, we have here the version 1, we have the version 2, a CO2, and a version 2 20 round magazine. Uh, basically what we're going to be doing is taking them apart, going over them real quick, doing a little sneak and peek, and maybe do some uh, maintenance tips on the way. Uh, for the version 1's, you're just going to slide the bottom plate off here, take out this little screw here that we have um, holding your internals in, give a little push, pull your internals out. That's it. That's what it takes to take it out. It's no big deal. Now this here is your back strap. Along your back strap here underneath this plate here runs a um, O-ring and that's where it has a tendency to leak at. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do to get to that is, you know, take a Phillips head. I'm using a drill to save time. I highly suggest that you don't use one. Um, I'm just doing this to save time here this way, um, it goes quicker. Whatever you do, do not put the screws back in with the drill just for the fact of the matter if you don't want to strip it out or break anything. Um, once I get these out here, show you what we got going on. Now the screws for the back strap plate also have o-rings so you're going to make sure you oil them up as well. and pop this baby off this is our o-ring right here as you can see this little pain -y ass ring loves to leak um, you can oil them up and set them back in and they will swell back up and reseal itself but if you do buy new ones I think they're like seven to seven or nine dollars over at Eve like they sell them um, but basically inside your magazine here this here is the four chamber design that WE has um, front top to bottom it's your fill valve here four chambers your release port is up here inside okay when you hit that the gas flutes out through your top uh, vent port here uh, gas port here and your bucking and that's how it runs down uh, right here is your follower and my um, bolt catch um, fell out right here but here goes your follower right here inside the um, magazine and that's basically it I mean there's nothing really to them once you figure them out um, but putting them back together is pretty much the same way I'm not going to put mine back together because I just want to save time but let me throw some murder oil on this bad boy here alright and then put this to the side we'll move on to the next alright what we have here is the version 2 or type 2 magazines um, to get it out pretty much the same way remove your bottom plate cover all right take out your internal screw okay like so and then just slide your internals out now right from the get-go you can already see there's a difference with the type 2 magazines this here is a type 2 as you can see there's no back strap that runs down the back so there's no o-ring there Basically, it's just two solid blocks that bolt together um, with one main bolt at the bottom. Now, to take these apart, they're a little bit tricky. You're going to have to take your your uh, follower cover here off, which is not too bad. Get it started here. Here is five screws that hold it in. Okay. You got your follower spring that pops out, so be careful with that. There you go. And your follower sits in there. Take that out just so you don't lose it. All right. Right there. There you go. Now to take it apart, you would take your drill, slide out your screw, and then just pull them apart. That's it. These are the two halves. Now as you can see, it's a different type. It's still, the bottom part here is a single chamber as you can see, but the top part looks like a dual chamber design here where the uh, screw and all goes. Um, now the o-ring for the version 2's is right here instead of that real big one 
Um, once again, you're going to want to make sure you oil these if you do get a leak. Um, and basically, that's it. That's the disassembly. And the maintenance is just this o-ring right here. And, you know, some silicone oil in with your propane or your green gas. And it will lube up all your valves here on the top. So, move this to the side. Don't worry. I'm like a freaking professional now. I get all the parts mixed up. I still remember where they go. <laughs> This one here is a CO2 magazine. Um, this one's brand new. I just put one CO2 in it to test it out. As you can see here, it has the bottom chamber on it. Same deal. Undo your screw for your internals. Okay, slide out your internals. Now these are going to look completely different because they're CO2. As you can see, it's basically just you got two valves here. Okay and then a release valve here which there's no gas in um, but these like the leak here so you want to make sure you take out your valves lube all them up this here is your CO2 now when you pop your CO2 out there is a little seal that goes up inside here on the inside so you want to put maybe a drop or two of silicone oil there every once in a while to keep the seals on the inside of those two valves lubed up but that's basically it for the CO2. CO2 is more powerful, but it does like to dry your O-rings out much, much faster. So make sure that you're lubing up your CO2 um, magazines more often, less than none. So put that one to the side. Now, this one here is the magazine that I am most impressed with. This here is the 20-round uh, magazine, uh, version 2. And I believe that this here is basically a template that WE should have stuck with for the rest of the magazines. Now all these other magazines over here they have an outer shell with internal workings. This one here is just basically a big block. Um, it's a solid block and all the internals slide out of the middle here. There's no base plate to slide off. Um, nothing like that. It's all one solid piece uh, to take it apart. Same thing as usual. It has some gas in it. Slide out your screw. That's it. That's it. Easy it is to take them apart. I mean, WE should have just made them just like this. Uh, even with these big ones, made them one solid piece of metal and just have the top drop right in like that. That's the easiest way to go. I think this here is the best design they have and they should have stuck with it with uh, the 30 rounders. Um, and then you know you get a little crazy and you can start making PMAGs like this. Um, just so everybody knows, I did do some research here and I have fitted a version 2 internal into the PMAG. Uh, you got to do a little bit more filing just because it's a little bit more wider in certain spots. But the version 2's will fit inside the PMAG modifications. And don't drop it like I dropped mine here. I cracked the damn side off of it, but it still works. So, alright. Uh, basically, this is the overlook of a couple different magazines. Any questions, uh, don't be afraid to get back to me. And don't be a numb nut like I did and not check to make sure there isn't gas in there. And uh, always check to make sure there's gas in there. So, uh, yeah, this is the overlook. Any questions, um, let me know. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, stay true. Murder. One more thing too before I head out. Um, with your version 2 magazines, if you look at these two here, okay, very closely, you can see here there's a lower follower. This one here doesn't have it. That's because I took it out. If you take out your lower follower here, you can fit five more rounds inside the WE magazine, changing it from a 30 rounder to a 35 rounder just by taking out your lower follower. Alright, keep that in mind fellas. Thanks for watching. Murder.